Okay, guys, so I wanted to make a really quick follow-up video to something I did a couple days ago on uh, building out a workflow for clients you may have who wanted a newsletter built on card and were selling e-commerce products. So I actually did a short video, uh, I don't know, like on Friday or maybe on Thursday. Today is Saturday the 17th, uh, but I did. I made a silent video. I didn't actually speak. I'm actually enjoying not talking so much and just kind of doing some demos, which seem, or some, you know, like walk throughs of strategies, which seems that nobody else likes other than me. So I'm going to actually show you what I did the other day with sound this time. And then I created a, a tiny little a mini course, which will show you how to do this as well, because I know some of you are actually offering this to clients. So here's the landing page again. It's right here. It's a template, as you can see, which is part of the strategy here. I'm just going to plug in uh, my name, which is Ian. I'm going to plug in a Fugazi email address, but that is, you know, associated with our business. Actually, I'm going to make this. All right. Let's fix that. I'm sorry. I'm typing with my left hand. So we're going to subscribe. And again, ostensibly, you'll be building this for your clients. And then this redirects immediately to a landing page that is an e-commerce store built on, uh, it doesn't matter, this is actually built on Framer, but this is where you know we're selling a whole bunch of products. All right, all through uh, Gumroad. Uh, that's actually our Pathrite course. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This is just the landing page that I uh, created as part of this workflow. So let's go through really quickly how to do this for yourself. Essentially, the steps are a newsletter sign up page for your client. When folks sign up for their email a newsletter, you're then going to redirect your client subscribers to wherever it is that is most amenable to serving their ultimate aims and objectives. In our case, I want to sell stuff, right? So sending folks to that. Uh, landing page, that e-commerce storefront on Framer is really what I want. We have 20 plus products there and I want people to actually, you know, buy stuff. So let's go really quickly and the, at the workflow. Step number one, you're creating the newsletter template on card. You actually saw that already, obviously. It should be super com compact, conversion centric, and it, ha it should have a trust element or a continuity consistency across time with respect to content element that I say here is optional. And that's basically down here, as you can see, where it says read past issues right there. And it has some other links that folks may or may not want, your clients I'm talking about here, may or may not want when it comes to their uh, landing page. All right, step number two is you're gonna plug in the appropriate newsletter API and or additional details as needed. In our case, the, um, the newsletter opt-in is using buttondown.email, which is a great little, a tiny service for email marketing. And um, yeah, it's great. I really, uh, it's not the primary email service we use. We use Flowdesk. Flowdesk, unfortunately, is not supported by the card API. So when I do these demos now, I use a uh, button down. Uh, step number three, you want to set the form action on post. This is the thank you message, the redirect, the file delivery, et cetera. In our example, the redirect is this, right? Folks are landing on our store, right? That's the whole point. I want folks to land on, you know, a place where they can buy courses, you know, audio, you know, as you can see, different, different products, et cetera. All right, step number four, you're gonna publish the domain or the newsletter to your card.co uh, domain for your client, or you're gonna publish it to a card branded domain for your client. And this is you know, the part where you would require the DNS 
uh, or they would do it themselves. It doesn't matter. Some folks can do this themselves that are clients of yours. Others will have no idea what DNS is, and this is part of the service that you're offering. But, you know, again, it, it's contingent a little bit about, you know, on what they're doing with that card landing page. Some folks I find are really happy to go out and register a, you know, dot XYZ domain that's specific to their business that does nothing other than, you know, host this page, right? So, I mean, that's their whole, you know, their, the, the, the domain itself that they register would be a root level newsletter that it looks like this, that you're offering them. It's super uh, simple, compact, and it has only one thing to do, two things to do. One, you sign up, or two, you bounce, right? You go away. Now, the read past issues part, this is actually where, you know, the trust and uh, consistency piece over time, right? So this is a link that takes people away from the page. So that gives them another option that they can do. I, I think the, the, the less links that you have here, this is more of an example. So I have a couple here. I would have these link nowhere. You'll see this links back to our store. So if they use that, in my case anyway, they're going to end up right where I want them to be, even though they haven't signed up for the newsletter. All right. Step number five, you want to save the news, newsletter as a template and then just keep making similar offers to new clients with the same workflow, right? And of course, you would customize this to their own unique needs, objectives, and post sign up action. Very, very simple, tiny sites, big profits. And the big profits piece here is the fact that you have stuff to sell to your audience that's not. Uh, web design, right? You can do news, newsletter marketing. You can do content curation. You can do, you know, consulting. You can, you know, do testimonial and review and, uh, you know, curation of their, uh, you know, their, their their reviews in the world. All these things we've covered a zillion times. I'm not going to cover it here. You're not going to sell this site for a zillion dollars. That's never my point. People misunderstand that piece of this. The whole part of this that is exciting is your ability to customize your offers and what you're actually selling in the world, what you're doing in the world, and you're using the tiny site as the front end of that whole whole sort of process. You could give this away. This would take me eight stinking minutes to fix for, a, you know, I could change this to, you know, marketing, um, you know, uh, macaroni and, uh, you know, mojitos, right? It doesn't matter. It could be a, a completely different client. It could be a completely different niche, a completely different area, completely different everything. The beauty of these sorts of sites is how easy they are to, you know, to edit. And then, and they have real utility for your clients. If you have people in your entrepreneurial orbit who are using like a link tree link in bio style site that's going to link tree not going to their own domain and all of a sudden you are able to give them something that is branded to them that that signs up tons of people to a newsletter list they're going to be really happy with that right this is super simple that's the beauty it's not designed to be some you know, extravagant exhibit of your amazing web design skills. I'm a design dummy. Like I can't design shit, to be honest with you. I can only do simple things using templates that allow me to look smarter and better at this stuff than I really am. I couldn't like code something like this up, you know, on my own. I mean, I, maybe I could, maybe I'm being a little hard on myself, but it wouldn't be easy. It's definitely not my skill set. All right, so don't overthink it. That's the process. If you want to join our agency incubator program, it's here. You can check that out here. It leads to our course community, I think. No, it doesn't. I actually have to fix that. It goes somewhere else. Let's see, where does that go? Uh, it looks like I have a typo in there. That's why. Anyway, nonetheless, if you're interested in joining us, feel free to do so. If you have questions, as always, feel free to ask. Very simple stuff. And a few people have asked for more details on that process within our course community, actually. And because I made it silent to the video, I figured it would be nice to follow up with my actual voice. Okie doke. Teach what you know. Do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. As always, I appreciate you watching and have a wonderful day.